Hi everyone and welcome. I'm quite excited about this week's tutorial as it has come in as a request. Today we're looking into do the Aldebaran Choreograph Object Recognition Tutorial. So on this week's tutorial we're looking into how to program your robot to recognise objects. So if you want your robot to walk in the room and recognise your lost keys then please stay tuned. Hi guys, I'm Flipping English from Robofield.com. Now on this video, we're looking to teach you how to use the object recognition tools on your now robot. We will do this by exploring the defining and detection tool on an object or image. So okay now, what is this? That is a ball. Hmm. No. Okay. Okay, this one. That is a ball. No. Still wrong. Hmm. This one? That is a ball. No, not a ball. Hmm, okay. Ah, what's this? That is a cat. No, it's not a cat. Oh, okay. Oh. Right, hi guys. Uh, we are now going to have a look at how to get the now to do object recognition. So as in always, we just check that we're connected to him. So there's our now robot sitting down and I'm just gonna go into the box. Yeah, he's fully connected. So the first thing we have to do is we need to see the camera so we can see um, the object that the now is going to learn. To do this, if we go up to view and if we go to video monitor and click that, this is the camera that the now is seeing through. So I'm just going to make this bigger so you can see it. It's a lot bigger, there we go, perfect. That's what we want. Now, all we have to do is first click this box up here, which is the new vision recognition database. So we're creating a new database of objects for the now to see. So we'll click that. Obviously it's going to ask me for permissions, click yes and we're creating the new database and now this is greyed out. So if it's greyed out already, that's fine. If it's not, please click it so you can click through there. Now, if I wave my hand in front of the camera, you can see, there it is, the now is recognising my hand in front of it. If I hit pause, it's just a still image. So I'm not sure if you can see this on this camera view, but then if you hit play, then this is a live stream and this is what we want to see so that we can pick up objects. Again, I'll, I'll put my hand in front of it and you can see me there. Now, if you want to use the other camera, so this is now's top camera, just quickly, if you go into vision and scroll down to select camera, bring that in, and if we connect it to the bottom part of the Ku camera, so that's the top and that's the bottom, and hit play. And there we go, a bit slow there, but we have the bottom camera, so again I'll wave my hand around there so you can see it, there it is. So that's him seeing through his bottom camera and you can see his hands here, his hands here. But we don't want that one, what we want is the top, so we're going to cut this little noodle and we're going to put the noodle back to the top camera and hit play again so we've just got the top camera that we're actually working with and we're back there again brilliant brilliant so i'm just going to delete that let's see quickly show you that right so we're now going to use the learn button to get the now camera to recognize the object learn button is this one here you see it's flashed up learn now if i put the object in front of the now i've got a picture of now so you can see what i'm looking at there he is. Try and strain it up. There we go. So this is what we want him to learn. Now when we hit the learn button, it gives me four seconds to get the object in front of him that he's going to learn. So let's go back to this button here, the one I talked about. Let's hit it, let's bring it in. Brilliant, we got it. Just what we want. Now as soon as you hit the button, and it captures the image, then you can click on to the image and it will automatically bring up a selection tool so you can actually cut out the image that you want. So as it's nice and simple square, we're just going to cut up the four squares and there we go, we've got our image that we want. It pops up the object tags box and we're just writing what we want. So we want a picture of now 
and side is the front view. You can put any description you want in here and there's, there's other options as well. But we'll stick for that for now for this tutorial. And we'll hit OK. So congratulations, it's been added to local database. Don't forget to send your local database to Robot Yes. So at this stage, you can add as many objects as you want. So for this time, we'll just do one, but you can go on and add a whole host of objects for now to, to recognize, doing the same steps as I've just shown you. And once you've got all of your objects, we want to upload them to the robot. And this is what this button on the far right, send current vision recognition database to the robot, which is what we want. So we will hit that. It will say, it will see, this will replace the current database in the robot and the current local database. Yes, so this is what we want to do. Hit yes. So now the, our picture is in the now and he is going to be able to recognize it. So I'm just going to hit the play button again, just so you can see what he's going to be looking at. So go into the vision category again and we want to drag the vision recognition box. Pop that up there. Connect up the noodle as we always do. And hit the play button so it, the robot knows that, that we're looking for an image. Now what, you, what I want you to have a look at is the right hand side of the choreograph box here to see the details coming up. So if I put this in front of the robot, there we go, you can see in the box it's flashing up picture of the now, front picture of the now, so we can see that the, it's picked up the image perfectly. I'm going to drag that away for a second. So to take it even a little bit further, if we now go back up to vision, uh, close vision, open up audio, go to sound, and we want the voices. Oh, voices, say box, connect up the say box and click into it. And we can say, that is a picture of me. Come out again, don't forget to hit the play button so it restarts the behavior. And what I'm going to do is also I'm going to start to loop this all around as I've showed you in other exercises just so we haven't got lots and lots of feedback. So he will see himself once and say the say box just once. Now if I bring this out, put it in front of him. That is a picture of me. Brilliant. You can see that's working perfectly. We'll just do it one more time just to show you. Okay, it's ready to go, and we'll bring it in front of the object. That is a picture of me. Brilliant. Cheers now, it's working well. And that's it guys, thanks very much. Well done guys, you're now an object recognition expert that can program in any object to your now robot. Now have a play of this behavior and try out other objects or images to see how well your robot can recognize them. Have a play guys and use your imagination. If you like this and want even more free video tutorials, news and information, then please visit us at robofield.com where you can download the latest free ebooks and get insider information and techniques of how to become a robot expert. Now if you like this tutorial and want to see the next one in the collection, then please hit the subscribe button and keep up to date with the latest videos that come out. Please have a look below as well where I've put links relating to these videos as well as other information about the now robot. If you have any questions or want to see any other related tutorials, then please ping me a message in the comment section and I'll see what I can do. Thanks guys and I'll see you next time.